Hello, this is one of the R3 Pro members, and today we're gonna be, at, as you see by the title of this video, we're gonna be looking at what I used on my Elite Charge TM. Now, as you might uh, know, I just, you, I'm, I use my, the Elite Charge TM on my Meganium. Now, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell for new videos. Uh, and so I use my Elite Charge TM on Meganium because I just liked it a lot and I haven't been to Chikorita Community Day and over here we're gonna take we're gonna be taking a look at these battles so first of all we have over here an Amphroth via Reggie Steel um, I shield up a flash cannon in place it's a focus blast and then I bait with Thunder Punch and so um, I use the Thunder Punch then he's gonna be shielding so then I'm gonna be going for the focus blast um, but he got the charge move off before I could get it I needed one more bolt switch and then he's gonna be hitting me with the flash cannon which is doing not very effective damage so he's switching into a stun fist so I'm obviously gonna go into my my meganium because it uh, double resist ground and electric and so I'm just gonna letting go, I'm letting go of every charge move they throw at us because I'll be resisting it and so we go for the frenzy plant they'll probably want to let it go through because like because the, why would they use their shield there's like no use of fighting back so they just get an extra charge move and we're not gonna be shielding obviously so it's another discharge we're gonna be finishing them off with one more vine whip then in, co in comes the i think reggie steel yeah um and then we're trying to bait with earthquake so we go for the frenzy plant and i think we get a shield here and uh you'll see after this that we'll take out the reggie steel so he blocks and then i go in with my amphros get one more or i think i already had the focus blast and then i get it the focus blast off and then it does super effective damage to the reggie steel and then the wiggly tough comes in then i didn't couldn't get the thunder punch but now i'm just gonna be going in with meganium and i'm gonna be getting red health onto this uh wiggly tough uh, because frenzy plant like it does lots of damage like 100 hp like i've never used a frenzy plant um move i've never used frenzy plant in pvp so it's really cool using it and so on to the next battle i won and um yeah uh so we're playing here and we're gonna be matched up against k -Sile? okay and sh he is 10 ratings below me now usually the, the people who i'm playing they're they're sometimes like a, exactly a hundred ratings ahead of me and that's because like i play a lot of battles so when um i just i think i like face all these people that's already cl cl climbed there and they're like super good so they've already climbed there but uh i haven't climbed there yet so um, my goal for this season is like rank nine and f and yeah so we're gonna be shielding up the ice beam going for another thunder punch so then we get it off we're going to be swiping 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 and we got the excellent then uh he shields again we're gonna be going for another thunder punch and they don't get another ice beam which is really fortunate for us and so we hit the excellent again and we take out the azumarill and then comes the venus in comes the venus or then we're going for the focus blast even though it, oh yeah we're going for the focus blast even though it does not very effective damage um, we will st it'll still be doing like three fourths of his health. So then we're just gonna go in with Hypno Confusion, and also we have Ice Punch. Now they switch into Skarmory. Um, 
maybe I should have switched into Meganium. I don't know. But like, some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. And so I'm going for Shadow Ball. That is um, okay, an okay amount of damage, but it's not stab damage, which means like, since you're not that type, it doesn't do as much. Like an Alolan Mirawak Shadow Ball would be way more. And so, I didn't shield that, and it was almost a close game because I didn't shield that because they couldn't get in, in to another charge move. And then I'm going for a Shadow Ball. Uh, then we kill the Skarmory. Uh, then the Venusaur comes back in. Now we're just going to be going for Earthquake. So I think this is... I didn't shield this for some reason. Thought it was going to be a frenzy plan. I just want to see what they have. So it was Sludge Bomb. It almost takes us out. And we almost didn't survive. But we're going for the Earthquake since it does neutral damage. But they get to a Sludge Bomb, I think. Or Frenzy Plant. They get to a Frenzy Plant before um, I can get to an Earthquake. And then it's going to be doing neutral damage because of the Poison typing on Venusaur. And then we take them out. Okay, so on to the next battle. We win and um, yeah, we're just going up. So um, we're matched up against uh, Blue Harden. Okay, my gosh. Oh, these peeps are like 57 ratings behind me. And I think um, I make such a big mistake on this one. It was like a really, really big mistake. So I'll tell you how, why I made that mistake. Or like how I made that mistake. So we're going for the Thunder Punch. Now you might know that Arcanine is like super squishy. Like they let go of one Thunder Punch and you'll see how much it does. So we're going for another one. Um, I don't think they... Yeah, they don't shield here. And so... um. It's gonna get in. Yeah, you see how much damage it does. So now, um, they switch into Ivysaur, and I switched into Meganium because usually my Hypno would be the third Pokemon to the right. Like, if you know what I mean, comment on if you know because um, usually my Hypno it would be the third Pokemon to the right, and then I thought I was switching into my Hypno. So I made a really big mistake. So I just have to block this sludge bomb. And then this cost me the game, this mistake. Because I have confusion and I have ice punch, which both are gonna be doing super effective damage. And so I'm going for the earthquake. Hopefully it goes, I think this goes unshielded. Uh, yeah, it goes unshielded. And it's gonna be neutral because of the poison typing. And they're gonna bring in their Arcanine. They, can't still, they still can't get to a charge move. And then, they bring in is an Umbreon. Now, I basically just got super mad and I surrendered because I was like, shouldn't have switched into that. Um, uh, it should have switched into Hypno because then this would have been matched up against the Umbreon. So I'm going for the Focus Blast. Like I'm doing whatever it takes to get to the Focus Blast because that's basically gonna KO the Umbreon and. Um, they get, I, I click it, I click it, but I clicked it like four times, but like, you know, they probably did that too. So then they take me out, then my, I just come in with my Meganium, I can't get to a friendly plan, obviously. And then, um, I almost surrendered here, but as soon as they hit me with this Dark Pulse, I just surrendered. So, yeah. So they I mean, foul play. Oh shoot. And then I just surrender because like there's no way I can win. So I'm gonna go into the battle. And this time I make sure to put my hypno last so I don't get confused again. So uh so yeah. And we're gonna be matched up against Nick Corobin 1601. Now, like I said, these people were like way higher ratings than me. But right now, they're like 
really low ratings. I don't know why. But like, forget what I said there. So, starting, I think this, yeah, this one, it's like glitched. Like we go into the battle, and then it just says time's up, and then like, what, what was that? So I just go into the next battle, um, and we're gonna be matched up against No No Fallo Twenty Four. Yeah. So first I bring in my Ampharos, and they bring in their Umbreon. Now, if this happens, I usually try to bait with Thunder Punch, but lots of times they don't fall for it. And you might notice that I switched my Thunder Punch to the left. That was because I wanted to get, like, I, I think it was Power Gem on my uh, Ampharos because, like, I keep get before I kept getting matched up against Alturias. And I was like, come on, I want I want Power Gem. Or uh, even if we're, what, like, it was a rock type of deck, that's what I know. And so um, I went to TM it, but then I, I was supposed to T. TM my focus blast but instead I TM my thunder punch on accident and then I had to get it like I had to waste three TMs because of that and then and um, then I didn't even have any more TMs because they keep using them or charge team so they get focus blast and now we're down a shield but we have switch event now they're going into the Alolan Miralak and um, we go for thunder punch um, they're not gonna shield and I think after this, we go into our, I mean, obviously our hit now, because like, yeah. And you can see an example of stab damage right now. Because, like I said, Alola Marowak, it's like ghost type, right? So, um, I fall, I don't fall for the bait here. They're go I think they're going for Bone Club. I'm like, I can stand a Shadow Ball, which I can, um, but they go for Bone Club instead. Now, I'm like, they probably just have Bone Club, because, like, I don't know. But I should have went for the, I clicked the Ice Punch, but, like, you know. And then, uh, it's Shadow Ball, and it kills me, um, because of the stab damage, because the Lone Mirror Act is Ghost, and, uh, uh, Ghost, and... Ghost and fire typing, and then so if they hit me with the shadow ball, it's gonna hurt my hypno. Like, if we have a mirror match against the hypno, then that would have only gotten me to like a little amount of HP, like almost red, I would say. And now they just wasted a shield because, like, we just formed it down a little. Now they have Ferrothorn. I don't know what they were hiding, but like, they, they want they really wanted to kill my meganium so we're gonna bait with frenzy plant unfortunately it didn't work yeah so right now we kind of had no chance of winning so now we're just gonna go all in earthquake and hopefully they don't chill it because earthquake it's like for gyms and battles it's 140 hp but you might not know this but in pvp it's 120 so even though it's 120 it's probably gonna hurt that Ferrothorn, but then it goes shielded, and big, uh, and then yeah, so we're basically GG. Cause I would rather go for Earthquake, cause it's doing neutral. But yeah, just die there, and yeah. So I'm just gonna go in with um yeah the same loadout. And I start off with the Ampharos because lots of people, they start off with Registeel, Bastidon, Arzumarill, and Skarmory. Mostly Skarmory, lots of the times. Um, Skarmory because uh, the event was just here. And now we're getting matched up against another Alolan Marowak. And we are going to be like... Th um, this. I, I kind of feel bad for this guy because this dude... I think he only had Shadow Ball. Um, because he was. It took him a long time to get to his charge move. And he was. He probably. He was doing, gonna do super effective damage to me. If he had. Bone Club. 
and so he has shadow ball though and yeah you can see it right there now we're gonna be shielding going for thunder punch i think this go i don't i don't know if this go shielded uh excellent then thunder punch oh no it doesn't go shielded okay so we're tied at blocks i'm just ah i thought i could farm down but then they get to the shadow ball um i i i don't i block it yeah i block it so one more bolt switch yeah um then uh we're ivy sword yeah i don't we don't care just focus blast because that's what i want to do i can't get to another charge move yeah okay and then we're gonna be going into our hypno we're waiting for the switch clock even though we can already switch so that was pretty weird of me but we could all re-switch hypno doing super effective damage and if you see in my other videos, Hypno getting matched up against Toxico, it absolutely shreds. Like, four shots? I don't know. And I actually did the math, but I, I'm not sure. But I think if you had a Shadow Hypno, that is... That you... that So you have a Shadow Hypno, and you just Acid Sprayed the uh um like a toxic rope um uh and i you just acid sprayed a toxic rope you're um you're doing quadruple effective damage because it's poison and fighting and if you just uh acid sprayed it and because it's shadow it does way more damage it like It'll do eight. I did the math, and I'm not sure about this, but it will do 86 HP every confusion. That that's what I'm thinking. If your hypno's attack is full, th um, that's what I'm thinking according to my calculations. But let me know in the com comments if you think I'm right, and I get another Lapras. I think yeah. I I. Uh, I got Lapras four times in a row. Bye. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. See y'all later.